So I'm Eric Eukel. I'm an assistant professor here in the uh, Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry at NMSU. We're involved in a branch of biochemistry that looks at the interaction between inorganic and uh, biology. Uh, specifically for us, we look at transition metals like um, copper, iron, manganese, and zinc. And these are all essential for every organism. Um, and they're incorporated into proteins to do specific tasks. So things like respiration, uh, DNA synthesis, uh, photosynthesis, all of these things uh, involve metal ions. We have two projects right now in the lab uh, looking at bacterial proteins. Uh, we have a system uh, called ABC transporters or ATP binding cassette transporters which are essential for bacteria to bring in uh, these transition metals like zinc and manganese in particular is the one that we're working on. And the practical side of that is that these ABC transporters are important virulence factors, meaning that they're systems that pathogenic bacteria require. In the long term, you know, I see this as being a starting point for designing uh, drugs because once you have a structure and you understand how a protein works, it's much easier to design a compound to prevent it from working. Otherwise, it's just a complete shot in the dark. Uh, the other one we're looking at involves uh, heme proteins. So very much like the protein in your blood that makes it red and carries oxygen around hemoglobin. And in bacteria, these are important signaling molecules that tell them uh, in some cases that there's a host immune response has been mounted, so your immune system makes nitric oxide as a toxin to kill bacteria. And also it's a signal within those bacteria, uh, it seems to tell them whether to make a biofilm or to live freely in solution. I think that it's uh, very interesting how they um, can take a tiny signal like a diatomic molecule like nitric oxide binding and then convert that into changes in behavior of bacteria. I'm hopeful one day of writing a, a major research instrumentation grant from the NSF to try to bring that capability here because in New Mexico there is one diffractometer to my knowledge that can be used for protein work and it's at Los Alamos National Laboratory. So I would probably bring in equipment and then just scale up like crazy. So the ABC transporters, for example, there are bacteria that have 200 versions of them in one organism. One ABC transporter bring in zinc and one bring in manganese, when if you express them and purify them, they'll bind either one, right? But in the cell, they seem to be highly specific. So exploring some more of those, um, some more of those kind of properties, I think would be interesting.